I'm Debbie of Bree Travel and this is Amanpolo. It is a luxury resort in the island of Pamalikan, one of the major islands in the Koyu Archipelago, Palawan, Philippines. To describe the beach that stretches for four miles around Amanpolo as powdery white sand is an understatement. It is so fine that the wind can carry it around, and the very clear Toiko seawater that spreads up to one mile is home to a rich marine life such as sea turtles. The beauty of Amanpolo did not stop there. The grandeur of the capiche shells, which decorated the twin vanities and the ceiling in the main room in each caseta, were mesmerizing. Pictures of it in the internet doesn't even do justice. You have to go and see it for yourself. Your vacation with Amanpolo starts when you check in at the Amanpolo Lounge in the Soriano Hangar in Manila. After they weigh your bags and you, take advantage of the complimentary refreshments while waiting for your flight. For those who are coming from a long flight, you can freshen up or even take a shower in their full bathroom. The flight to Amanpolo from Manila takes about 70 minutes aboard a 20-seater plane. And for a better view, sit on the left side, or read the Amanpolo booklet to know more about the resort. It is where I found out Amanpolo serves complimentary Filipino snacks every day at 3 in the afternoon in the clubhouse. A fragrant Sampagita lay, your guest assistant, and one of the managers await you upon your arrival in Amanpolo. A buko juice will be waiting for you in the clubhouse after your tour of the island. Then check-in is done in your casita. After that, taste and enjoy your privacy completely. Why? It is because Amanpolo's staff discreetly work their way around you. There are four restaurants in Amanpolo. First is the clubhouse restaurant where you have the choice to dine outside to enjoy the sun and view of the Manamook Island. By the pool under the trellis or in the comfort of the air conditioning inside. This restaurant serves Asian and continental cuisine. We highly recommend the Wagyu beef burger for dinner and the Filipino beef tapa bowl paired with chocolate batter roll for breakfast. The second, and our favorite, is the Beach Club. It is an open-air pavilion that offers fresh seafood and Spanish cuisine. Aside from the food, you'll be amazed by the sunset view here. Try their seafood paella. It is very fresh and tasty. We liked it so much, we ordered it two nights in a row. Other locally caught seafood and island-grown vegetables were equally delicious. Third is the Lagoon Club. It is closed during off-peak, so we were not able to dine there. They say it serves various specialty at the time. Sometimes they serve dinner with Vietnamese, Thai, or Japanese flavors. Fourth is the Picnic Grove. It offers a vast array of homemade pizzas prepared in a traditional wood-fired oven. It is casual lunch only, feet in the sand, dining at its best. Wherever you dine, you are assured you are served with ingredients that grow from Amanpolo's organic garden. Undoubtedly for me, Amanpolo has the whitest and finest sand, cleanest beach, and seawater in the Philippines. So aside from basking in the sun and swimming in warm, clear water, you can feed the fish and chase sea turtles snorkel, kayak, and use the paddleboard. Explore the unexplored area of the island, stargaze at the clubhouse, or swim in the pool. Other paid activities are having a private barbecue in the Kawaiian bar, on your beachfront, at the grotto, or in the highest point of Amanpolo's Garris Nest. What we recommend is the picnic at the sandbar. It was a beautiful experience. We had the sandbar to ourselves. Our guides just stayed in the speedboat for the duration of the picnic except when they have to set up and pack up our things. It was the most memorable four hours of our vacation. 
Our private island retreat in the Philippines was even made better when they let us feel our daughter is as important as anybody else. They presented her with a doll dressed in a Manamo costume, fun underwater creatures found in a Manpulo stickers, coloring book and crayons, and best of all, the kids' bathrobe and slippers. We've been to other luxury resorts across Asia, and this is the first time she had a little bathrobe just for her. Also worth mentioning is the goodies we receive during turndown service at night, the fresh fruits in the afternoon, the handwritten notes, and the farewell gifts on our last night. So what are you waiting for? Book your Amanpolo vacation with Bree Travel and get the 2017 offer. Upgrade on arrival subject to availability, breakfast daily for up to two in-room guests, a complimentary a la carte lunch for up to two people per room once during stay, excluding alcohol, taxes, and gratuities. Early check-in, late check-out subject to availability, and complimentary Wi-Fi. Our travel tips are request for beach caseta number one. It has more privacy than the other casitas since the villa to the right is still meters away. Take advantage of the complimentary Filipino snacks every day at 3 p.m. They are delicious. If the waves in the casita side is a little choppy, try the lagoon side. You'll be surprised how calm it is there. Order the Wagyu beef burger when dining at a clubhouse. Seafood paella when in the beach club and any kind of pizza in the picnic grove. Filipino tapa bowl is a must try. Book the picnic at the sandbar. It will be the most memorable experience you will have in a manpolo. Or for a romantic setting, try a bar private barbecue by the beach. A manpolo is far beautiful than other resorts in the Maldives. To read our full review of a manpolo, visit breetravel.com slash amanpolo dash review to re view our review of beach cassetta number one go to our youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe